Hey, Clayton Bates here, one of YouTube's only authenticated Shopify experts. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add a Google widget to your website so you can display it on pages like your homepage, your product page, your reviews page, or things like that. I'm also gonna share with you a little strategy that we've helped generate thousands of reviews for our clients. If you don't know me, my agency's helped generate hundreds of millions of dollars from building and rebuilding Shopify websites that convert more visitors into paying customers. So with that being said, let's jump into the video and get started. All right, to actually do this on your website, you need an app, a plugin that actually pulls your Google reviews onto your website. And the one I recommend is Google reviews, this one. It has a small monthly fee of at the moment, 6.99 USD a month down here. Now I highly recommend that if you wanna display some Google reviews and build some trust, this is definitely worth it. The main reason that it actually costs money is because it has to automatically pull Google reviews and there's a couple other different things, stuff like that. But I think for the small fee, it's definitely worth it. All right, so once you click the link below, you'll come to this page and you just wanna click install. This is gonna install the app into your website. So once you get to your Shopify store, you just wanna click install and now it's gonna install the app into your website. Now, once it's in your website, it's gonna look something like this, or you can just click apps here and then click Google reviews. You can also pin it to the side here. So there's a little pin here. So this will always be here on the side now. Now, basically what you wanna do now is link up your Google My Business. If you don't have a Google My Business, I'd go create a Google My Business. I might actually make a video on how to do that in my school community link below. So when you're here, the first step is add business. So we have a diff few different options here. You can sign in with Google. You can create your Google My Business by clicking this button as well. And like I said, I might make a separate video about that. We can also like search for your business. So for example, let's um just, whoops, let's just search Inspire Small Business, for example. All right, so it didn't actually come up. So <laughs> come up with Inspire Wellness collective so you're going to get a little shout out uh here so i'm just going to put my website link and see if that works that didn't work so let's see if this works that didn't work so let's just see if this works all right so that one did work so you might have to do a couple of different things so inspire small business we have 73 three reviews at the moment we're going to click save here so this is actually now connected your google my business to this app and you can actually add the widget onto your website. Now, if you go to step two here, you can actually preview what these widgets look like. So for example, this first one, people can actually scroll through your reviews here. The next one is a similar carousel and they can leave a review. It's got a few different ways it displays sort of thing. This is scrolling automatically. I really don't like that um, on a website. I, I'm not a ma massive fan of scrolling things. I think it's a distraction. It can have store locator. So it has, you can have like multiple locations here. So if you have a couple of different locations, you can put them here. Really cool thing, which I'm gonna get into later, is like, if the app doesn't have something you need, just message their support because sometimes they'll actually include it. We used to use a different Google My Business app a few years ago, and we actually said to them, hey, can we add multiple uh, locations and stuff? And they actually like a month later added that feature, which is really cool, which had helped some of my clients. Here's another one. Here's another one. You can scroll through and check all of them if you want. I think maybe the first one, I'm leaning towards this one. And then you can scroll down here and you can display like English, minimum reviews, four stars. So it won't publish your one star reviews and stuff like that. A full name. There's a few different things here. Most helpful or most recent, whichever you want. So basically that's set everything up. Now, sometimes you can just click add, or not sometimes, always, you can click add widget to wherever you want, but most likely you don't have to do that. That it will already be embedded into your website. So if we go online store here, and then we go into the customizer, and then we go to any page, if we click, if we click, if we click add section, and then go apps here, it's got all the sections for Google. So Google uh, carousel, so we can select this one, see how now it's displaying all our Google reviews. And it has some different options in here and stuff like that. So we can go dark mode, you know, whichever sort of thing, whatever sort of matches the website. I'm just gonna go light here. You can actually click 
to mobile and see what it looks like on mobile. So I actually like how this looks on mobile because it's a small section here and then it's like one review sort of thing. So it's not taking up too much room, if that sort of makes sense. You can go on a big screen, see what it looks like on a big screen. And then we can press save. Now, there's three spots you probably want to add this. The first one would be your homepage, which we just did. You can click and hold this, uh, move this block to anywhere you want. So for example, if we wanted to put it at the top, which you probably wouldn't, we could there, or we could put it anywhere. I normally recommend this in the middle of the page. You wanna add it to your reviews page. So basically you can come here, you can add it to your reviews page here. See how I just added it here. Sometimes you might wanna remove customer reviews here so you could hide that. So see how it's like bang, sort of straight into it. And then you could put product reviews under it if you wanted to as well. And then on your product page, so if we go products here, this is our product page. It's not fully built out or anything. We probably wanna put it above you mouse alike. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a block here. We're gonna add carousel and then we're gonna move it down. So let's click and hold here. And then we're gonna move it down to right there. So see how now it's right there. So when people come to our product, especially on mobile, they can scroll through here and it's like, oh, 73 Google reviews, that's pretty cool and they can actually go through them like that. So that's how, how you wanna press save up here, by the way, also. So that's how you add your Google reviews widget to your website. And like I said, at the start of the video, I have a really cool strategy on how to get thousands of reviews. And I left it here in my school community. There'll be a link below, you can watch this video. I've implemented this into lots of people's websites now, and they've got thousands and thousands of reviews. And it's a really cool strategy and it really helps build trust for your people that wanna buy stuff off you. So if you like this, uh, smash like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And if you want a free video review of your website going over tips and suggestions, there'll be a link somewhere around here or a link in the description where you can grab that. And until next time, have a good one, bye.